I mean, this is such a quick and easy project, but it's such a useful project yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's a really, oh, I think it's a really good gift project. But I also, I was thinking, if the, you made the loops a little bit larger, it could be for bottles. Yeah. Because then you kind of, as long as you make the loops around, the elastic loops. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. The, you can completely alter yeah. how wide you want them, right? So we'll ignore, I'm not going to waste time cutting those bits off. So the next stage is... This one you can choose to do or not to do. Okay. So you want to line up the yeah. lining on the back of the front yeah. here. And what you could do right now is you could stay stitch all the way around. Yeah. Just to keep it in place, you know, inside the quarter inch seam, yeah. so close to the edge. Ah, I see, yeah. Just to keep it in place. You don't have to worry when you're adding your binding. Right. Whether or not it's going to move. I'm not, obviously, I don't want to waste my time doing that for you guys. But if you pin it, it should be fine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and maybe use quilting, um, how you call it? Uh, oh, uh, oh, the ones that you close. Uh, the safety pins. Safety pins, yeah. Yeah, you could use those as well. <laughs> the ones that you're closet. <laughs> I knew what you meant, so it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> there we right go. On. So I've just, I've just pinned it, but I do tend to stitch all the way yeah. around because I just, I like it doing that. So you're going to flip this over. I've cut my lining slightly wide. Yeah. Um, and then you're going to add ribbon, or you could make... Yeah. You could make whatever you want for this. You don't have to use ribbon. Again, choose one that matches. I would use grey or silver for this one. So how, uh, like, how it much that has the length that you oh, would okay. yeah. you would use in the pattern? Just yeah. I like to save time. I don't want to read through my pattern, and I can't remember. <laughs> well, if you want the pattern, it is of course available on the website and a part of the show, so you can have a look at that. Uh, I think it's a fabulous project because it's it's, it's quick and easy to make. Oh, so, it's so makes quick. a perfect present as well. Exactly, you can make loads. Yeah, great like pencil cases when they go back to school. Oh, yeah. Or even now at home, like yeah, kind of, yeah. Know. So just pin these to. I, I pin further along as well, so it doesn't start flapping around and you don't get it yeah. caught. So if you just pin those in place, just going to move those yeah. pins slightly further back. We have got about ten minutes till the okay. end of the show. So, so the next thing you want to do is you're going to add binding, and then it's going to be complete. Oh, that fabulous. is how easy this quilt is. So I've already, quilt, well, this project is, I've already cut strips but I thought yeah. I'd show you how to make the binding. i just going to cut off yeah. the, um, the selvage from, yeah. there you go, and I love using prints for binding. I don't always use solids for binding. Yeah. It just completely depends. I mean, these ones are really good because I think they are the best of both worlds. They are solid, in, like the one day special. Yeah. They have got that kind of uh, visually, like uh, they're in the heavy inner content, it's solid. Yeah. But then it has got the interest of yeah, the pattern. Yeah, just a little something. Yeah. yeah. So to make binding, so obviously I want these two strips to join. So you're going to have one right side up yeah. facing away from you. And then one right side down, facing, just going towards yeah. your left. And you're going to line up those two bits here. And you can pin if you want, but we all know I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and then you're going to sew the diagonal. So you're going to sew from here, oh, you can't see this, from here down to that line there. So you might want to, I would suggest, draw a line. Because I'm just going to eye this just for time's sake. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So you're going to cut your thread. As you can see, now it is one, yeah. one continuous piece. So, do I have fabric scissors somewhere? I'm going to use my little scissors just to cut this off. So you're going to cut quarter of an inch yeah. seam allowance and you're going to um, you want to um, press that seam open, not to one side. Always press your seams open when it comes to binding. Okay. So you just press that open nicely like this. And then 
you fold your whole strip in half like this and you're going to press along <coughs> should have done this before <laughs> I wanted to show you because I always skip it I never show how to make the continuous length of yeah. binding I've al usually already got my binding done I worked it out like I was watching the previous show and you said that you should add all sides right yeah and then add 10 inches yeah so and then uh, divide that between 44 inches, which is more or less the length of half of like the width, uh, width, uh, yeah, width from width salvage to so salvage. Yeah. So I worked it out that I needed um, two, uh, two and a half strips uh, to make a continuous piece of, of uh, with half meter fabrics. See, ah, okay. my well, that was handy, wasn't yes, it? Did you use your calculator though? I did. I mean, <laughs> we all know how bad my well, how no, they're not bad. They are unreliable, oh, mine is. which is the same thing in maths. I, I really, I'm not great at maths. I really do struggle with it. Yeah. Quilt maths is well, great fun. I mean, my sister is a research scientist, and she always says it's like uh, when we have to do maths. I'm like in you know, like we go to a restaurant or something like that, divide the amounts. I'm much better than her to work it out because it's like, well, we they all use my uh, calculators. They 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 all they right. never they never use their own. My dad is a maths genius. Oh, I think he did a physics degree, but. In general, I can just ask him the longest question, like sums, and he just adds it, divides it, percentages, everything in his head. Yeah. Within but seconds. My sister did a physics. She's a PhD in physics, and my sister. So wow. And she still cannot do like She's I can't do math calculations. I swear it just depends how you get taught maths exactly, as well, yeah. because maths exactly. is taught. It seems to change all the time. How much? Like, I mean, how my Absolutely. son is getting taught maths at the moment. I'm a key worker yeah. part time. So my boy's actually attending school yeah. at the moment a bit. I'm so grateful because his maths, they, they teach it completely, completely different. different. So I'm just like, mm -hmm. what? I, you know, it, it's a funny thing, maths, because I was with, uh, for a very long time, somebody who was from Canada. And again, he, the way that they had taught the maths in Canada completely and the way different. that they taught in Spain was completely different. Right. So to add your binding, you want the right side up. So you can see this is the front of the pen roll and your binding the raw edge so not where you folded the raw edge needs to line up with the outer edge so leave a tail yeah. like this and then you're going to take it to your machine and you're going to just sew a quarter of an inch or I've just actually got my needle central sometimes I like to have it like that when I'm doing binding I'll just show you how to go to a corner and then we'll probably run out of time so you're just going to go all the way down and then when you get to a quarter inch or just over a quarter whatever your seam allowance is okay. whenever you hit that point on the corner you're going to stop yeah like now and just go off okay. keep your needle down and then go off the work at the corner can okay. see that yeah i'll show you if you can see the stitching on the overhead that would be brill okay all right so it? if we can see it uh can i'm we? not sure no. if the overhead can get it uh no. we're gonna get there no yes. way. there it is Okay, there we go. So you can see yeah, the if you stitching. It in, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gone off at the corner here. So next up, you're going to fold yeah, away then. from the project. Yeah. And then you're going to fold back into the project. So that is how you're going to get your gorgeous corners when they're folded. So you could clip that. Use a little quilter's clip here to keep yeah. it in place. But I'm just going to um, hold it. All right. And then we're just going to go again, back stitch this corner, and then yeah. we're going to go all the way down to the next corner and go off at the angle when you get to yeah. the quarter inch seam. Once I've gone off this corner, I'll show you how the corner I've done will look when it's folded because yes. I hand sew my binding on the inside. Yeah. Inside of this project, but on a quilt, it would be the back of the quilt. I always hand sew. Yeah. So as you can see here, 
that. You just fold it over. I would fold it this way. Yeah. And then this corner will fold perfect. over. Look at and that. And you'll get the perfect corner. Obviously, you would use quilted clips just yeah. to hold it in place while you're um, hand okay. sewing with a little whip stitch. Perfect. All the way along. And brilliant. I, I love this project so much. And of course, you can buy the pattern and individually. We have it on the show. But of course, you want the one day special, don't you? You want the one day special. Whichever option you go for is extraordinary color. Narc is in the lid, and I'm loving it. I absolutely love it. Two thirds of this option has gone. It's funny because I would have never said um, that I would go for the dark one uh, because you're not going to. But then when you look at it in real love, Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Look at this is a starry night. This is definitely a starry night. Uh, then you have got the stars in here, which are kind of that geometric kind of sort of pattern. But again, it's that tone and tone colors that blend in so well. This is for me a spectacular. This is one of the ones, of course, I have gone for because, you know, look at that. I mean, this is just like a painting in its own. And then you have got the, I believe this one, or oh, which one? Oh, I, Lead, and then we have got the dark uh, the, uh, color in here as well. I believe this one is called espresso. Then we have got, of course, the blues, very busy for the blues as well, in which we featured the uh, fairy tales. And here we have got the style. Oh, I love that so much. And then we have got the grays and the blues in here. Then on, we have got the naturals as well, uh, which it, of course features the white dress, which is like a snow. It has got that glitter in there, that glitter there we have it oh look at that it's just it's just really spectacular and we have got then of course they need oh i need to oh sorry sorry about that <laughs> and then we have got the reds and then and then we have got the greens and then finally we have got this is the greens and then we have got the blue greens right jenny uh, we are gonna see you tomorrow yes. at 8 a.m you are indeed well uh, thank you so much thank we look, you. look forward to watching you tomorrow at eight o'clock uh, for you to check out your baskets and uh, stay tuned for a fabulous hour of alpaca yarn and patterns of knitting stay tuned for pearly designs Uh, Pro Alpaca Designs after the break, then we have got a rerun of this show of Moda Basics at 11 and at 12 uh, or at 11 I'll uncreate. Hi, I'm Nikki San and I bring Spellbinders products here to Achanda. Spellbinders are an American based company and they have been in the industry for well over 15 years. Spellbinders have always brought us dies with stunning detail but today you will find tools dies and stamps within the spellbinder range what i love about spellbinders is their partnership with licensed designers this always keeps my creativity flowing to inspire you with lots of hints and tips on how to use your Spellbinder products. So join us for the Spellbinder shows here on Achanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons, and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using our app on Roku? 
Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? I hope you are very well. I uh, hope you had a lovely dinner. By the way, we have got, of course, a pearl design, alpaca designs, and we have got Tracy here in the building. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Paula. How are you today? Very, very well. Uh, now, uh, we had a lovely show early on, and in uh -huh. which uh, we talked about all the amazing kind of qualities of alpaca yarn. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, um, alpaca is a very lightweight fibre. So fibre is measured in microns, which <laughs> is a thousandth of a millimetre. Wow. So it's invisible to the naked eye. Yeah. But um, so the fibre I have here with me that makes my yarn is about 17 microns. Okay. So when you think a human blood cell is seven, wow. it gives you an idea of how fine the individual fibre is. Wow. Now, for this yarn, I've mixed it with merino, uh -huh. and it's all been spun in the UK. And, and, of course, it comes from my herd, so the alpacas are really, really well looked after, if not totally spoilt. And uh, this is the sort of quality of fibre that goes into making the yarn. Now, we have got a question that we didn't ask you in the first hour. How many alpacas have you got? Uh, I started with three, yeah. and I've bred uh, 46 but I've only got 40 at the moment. Oh, that's amazing. But you have what, 40 alpacas. And of course, you, you told us how much, you know, you do spoil yours, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid so. I yes. mean, I mean, but that's it's, what they're for. They are indeed. Now, any, any item that you buy, any kit that you buy, it will come with a, one of these biographies, little. And this is one of yours. This one is a fire. A fire? A fire? A fira. A fira. Yeah. Look at that. How gorgeous. And of course, it comes in with the story as well in here. And this is a fira. And then this is Goldie. Yes. It's just so gorgeous. She is. Yes. Yeah, look at that. So, uh, and of course, you will get one random of them. That, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all the designs are named after one of the alpacas. And the idea was to have a biography card of each alpaca to go with 
each, the, each, yeah. each design, but I, I've just kind of fallen short. Oh. So I've got loads of stories, but I just haven't written them up and put them with the photos. Oh, <laughs> so that's sorry so about that. <laughs> I, I love that. Uh, right, so the first item we are going to have a look is the Alfie hat. Uh, now, this, you can see it here a lot. Well, I, I have to say that the photo is very striking as well. Uh, now, it it's, it's a very comfortable hat. It looks like one of those ones that you can wear it almost kind of to go to, you know, every day, but also, you know, a sports day and things like that. I've seen men wear it as well. Absolutely. So it's a totally unisex item, so men or women can wear it with ease. And it's meant to be sort of slouchy rather than beanie. Ah, you know, yeah. it's not meant to be a tight fit. It's meant to have that sort of... Yeah. Gorgeous. flow to it yeah absolutely and of course you have got the pattern in clear now uh, you have got the patterns in here uh, you also have got uh, five different choices in terms of colors now uh, the different I'm gonna go start off with the uh, ivory now ivory comes in one single bowl of a hundred grams the rest come in two bowls of 50 grams so this is the same amount but of course the um, the ivory is just one single one of a hundred grams it's chunky all of them are air chunky for the Alfie hat. Then if, for instance, we have got a dew option, you can see it here. Again, two, two bowls of 50 grams, which makes like the uh, 100 of the uh, beautiful color, uh, the ivory. Then we have got the champagne, which we describe it as a shortbread sort of color. Because yes. like we kind of like that idea. It's a warm, sort of soft cream color. Oh, also I was thinking clotted cream. Ooh, clotted yeah. cream. Clotted cream oh. with a little bit of shortbread and a little <laughs> bit of, ooh, that's right. And a little bit of chocolate you need in your life. Well, then here it is rain. This is like really dark chocolate, you know, that's beautiful. Like a praline, praline yes. sort of, uh, you know, yeah. that color. Uh, again, if you go for the uh, rain, that will come in two bowls of 50 as it will the beautiful uh, soul which is I think my favorite and um, between dew and storm uh, storm is a little bit darker I'm gonna put um, dew in here so you can see the difference between them now you were mentioning that the color is achieved not by dyeing but by mixing the different mixing different place ah. yes so uh, the dew is a, a little bit of black to an awful lot of white yes and the storm is just a, a fraction more black, and yet it makes such a big shape Different, difference. Um, and so because we're an organic farm and because we believe in the environment and low carbon footprint and all that sort of thing, that's why we try and keep our products as natural as we possibly can and just you know, try and look it, after everything nicely, does, you know? It, do, it does make such a difference for you to know that you're not only are buying, uh, you know, alpaca yarn, uh, you know, bread in the UK, taking care in the UK by somebody who you know now, but mm -hmm. also looked after and spun in the UK with that all that things considered. Now, it comes in with care instructions as well, and we will talk through some of them because they are interesting ways of keeping our alpaca knits uh, fresh and you have them here and also can i mention the fact that it comes in this glorious beautiful bag gift bag now if we make it to we uh, you know like for it's for these patterns are for personal use but we could make us a present we could give it as a present wouldn't it, well i think if you buy it then it's your gift to yourself isn't exactly, it exactly absolutely <laughs> so you can put so you have got in here we could keep it here as well nice we and could safe. we could uh, but it would need a friend to keep it coming Company. Indeed, it would <laughs> if you can get one. Anyway, in this situation, <laughs> one, four, three, four, nine, three. I'm just talking about myself. It's just like, you know, it has got, you know, the situation at the minute. 21 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You're saving three pounds. <laughs> uh, right, moving on to the Luna, the cowl, which we have got here behind me. I always get confused. I'd, can I bring Luna forward? Because, oh, whatever I want. Well, Mm -hmm. Right, so we have got, I love, well, every, I, I kind of repeat my, repeating myself, but uh, if you have seen me in the last, watch me in the last year or so, you will have seen me 
wearing a lot of the capelets. This is a little bit shorter than a capelet, yes. but makes it even more, more versatile. Exactly. So we call it a cowl because it's designed to keep your throat and upper chest warm. Yeah. So you can wear it over a jumper, over a jacket, over anything at all, really. Um, just, just, or even underneath, because a coat would fit over the oh, top. Yes, yeah. But it, it's instead of a scarf. I mean, quite often, if you wear a scarf, it can get in the way. You've got all that fabric yeah. or dangly ends, you know, and it's just annoying. Absolutely. Whereas that does the same job without um, all and that. And we had this question early on that if you didn't want the um, the fringes, the fringes, you could trim it down. I mean, you don't have to. Put you, it. you don't have to in the pattern itself. After the cable section, it says cast on four stitches. Yeah. So if you don't, yeah, you'll have it without the the, the fringing. Well, it's probably because I was thinking about like me wearing it at work. Uh, that would be like a much safer option because otherwise I'm knocking everything as it is. So imagine yeah. if I have got uh, the the kind of fringes in there. But of course, having the option of the the fringe adds another layer of element to it. Right. If you want to go for Luna cowl, uh, right, you have got five different color options in this case. You are going to get 150 grams of it. It's the same color options. You have got the ivory. But the, the yarn this time is medium, it's not chunky, but medium. You are getting three of the ivory, or if you go for uh, the dew, uh, you have got also here three balls of 50. Or uh, champagne, again, that beautiful clotted cream, or the gorgeous shortbread option. Then we have got the rain, which is that deep um, forest brown gray. And then finally, the storm, my favorite. It just feels so soft. And also, we were talking about alpaca not having lanolin, yeah. which is, we know that it's an allergen that a lot of people have got, uh, but yes. not having it makes no. it more like hypoallergenic. They're not actually designed for the wet, which is a bit funny in this yeah. country, isn't it? <laughs> so, because the lanolin makes the rain run off ah. and they haven't got that. But what they have is this incredibly dense coat yeah. so that the, the rain doesn't penetrate. Okay. Um, but I do have one who's a little bit poorly at the moment oh. and so she's actually got a raincoat. Oh, isn't that so I forgot so to mention this earlier. Yes, so her name is Lawton and she's got to wear Lawton. her own coat. Oh, well, I hope you are all right if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, of course, you can see the pattern in here that you are getting. You are getting the care instructions as well. And that alpaca biography card, £32.49 is the price. Remember, you will be able to make one of this beautiful color. I would definitely go for the gray because I know that the gray is the one color that would work for the black and red the best. Uh, so that's that's me sorted. Uh, but uh, nine four four six five four is your item number. Then we are moving on now. Nina, this is needs to be a little bit of an explanation to do. Right, we are going for the waistcoat which we have got here behind me, or uh, you can see there. Go, it's absolutely gorgeous. Or the uh, Mitzi fake fur waistcoat. That's how we call it. Now there are three different sizes. Uh, now, th those three different sizes that we are going to look have got different item numbers. So we are going to start with the smaller size and we are going to go higher up. Now, the inch sizes is across the bus, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it is. So when you, we look at the smaller size, we are going to give you the inch uh, si size, which is the uh, bust size. I adore this design. I just think it's just original. Yes with that fake fur kind of effect, which yeah. you will show us how to do, one not Yes, you? I will. And then if I turn it around, I love how it kind of tapers the design in here, that darts in there. It That's just, it, yes. It just makes it so elegant, shapely. And then we take it down and it it's, protects the kidneys, you say, right? It's, it keeps your kidneys warm. Yeah. So uh, when you're out walking or whatever, you know, for your daily exercise, you can just be all cosy in that and it just gives you a lovely feel. I just love how it tapers around. It. I just, it, it's a waist, but it accentuates the figure, which in usually sometimes waistcoats are more kind of like a gilet that kind of is just more shapeless. This kind of gives you that beautiful hourglass figure as well with the a gorgeous uh, Flake for it looks, can I say, very coco, you know, coco channel. Oh, yes, yeah, that sort of that kind of you know, that kind of because you know, those jackets that you kind of you, you know, that they do that it kind of really reminds me of that. Oh, thank you, yes, yeah, very of you. Thanks. <laughs> and of course, 
this is the extra small to medium size uh, you have got in the details on the screen. Now, if you go for the size, you're, of course, you're going to get instructions for everything. You still have got the, f the five different color options, whether you go for the gorgeous ivory, uh, the uh, dew, the uh, kind of champagne, or shortbread or clotted cream. <laughs> and uh, we have got the gorgeous uh, storm. And then we have got, sorry, uh, the rain and the storm. I always get confused with storm. And then you can see them. Now, if you go for this, you are going to get, I believe, enough, uh, it, well, not I believe, I know for sure, you're going to get the journey needed to complete this project. So the price reflects that. When we go to different sizes, of course, you will need more yarn, which will be included in the kit, hence where the price will kind of go in. So you have got two payments uh, if you want to flex away of £50 with a saving of £10. This is for the extra medium, extra small to medium. Then we have got the large, uh, medium to large size, which of course, then we have got more yarn in it. You will get more grams for of all. So you are gonna get uh, 600 yarns, uh, grams. So you are gonna get 12 uh, balls of yarn of the smaller ones, and then I think you are gonna get um, because this one is the 100 grams, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So six of the uh, the the ivory, and that which is 100, and then you are gonna get the 12 of the smaller ones, which are there. Right. I hope that was making clear. Uh, now, 37 inches to 42 inches is across the bust. That's the size you want. If you want to flexify it, three payments of 40 pounds and 33 pence. 760529 is your item number. Now, then we have got the large size, so that was medium to large. This one is the large size to extra large, 43 inches to 48 inches across the bus. And again, you will get enough, the, the, the exact amount of, of yarn that you will need to even to do complete the largest size. And again, if you have got the uh, gorgeous uh, ivory, the, uh, the, all the options as before, do you, then we have got the champagne, then we have got the uh, rain, and then we have got the storm. Remember that the four last options are 50 gram balls, so you are gonna get, I think in this option, is it? A hundred, uh, yeah, so you are gonna get a hundred, seven hundred grams across the board. Uh, right, four, seven, five, four, six, nine is your item number. So you are gonna get seven, or if you go for the ivory, and fourteen of the others. Right, I hope that makes it clear. Just, just, it, it's because basically, Email in if you have got any questions, studio at .com. If you want to go for one of the sizes, like you, you just get gonna get enough, all the enough or more than enough yarn to create it. Right, and then we finally have got the glorious, I'm gonna step here because you can see it better that way. The glorious, uh, beautiful shadow box jacket. And shadow is the name of one of your alpacas, isn't it? Well, all the designs are named after one of the alpacas. Yes. It's just that shadow, uh, I had to bottle feed Aww. and he was my alpaca puppy Aww. for about a year and then he went through the teenage years and he was ghastly but now he's nearly three Aww. and he's turned back to being adorable again Aww, so that's God. nice. <laughs> so there is hope for all of, all of us <laughs> if yes. you know teenage years and then come back and look at that. Now this design is really striking between the contrast and I'm gonna again turn it over uh, in a second. Uh, I love the clean lines but also intertwine it. It's almost like Celtic design. It is a little bit. Um, it's called a honeycomb cable, yeah. oh. that one, but it's using two colours. So the, although the whole jacket body is knitted in one piece, it's just one very long piece that yeah. you then work. So all the borders are included within the row. And um, the borders are done in the medium yarn and the body is done in the chunky yarn. Okay. And that's how the two just combine together. Yeah, absolutely. And then we turn it. I mean, look at how striking is that in the back. I mean, it's just like, it's, it, it reminds me of a superhero, you know, the two, yeah, you know, two, oh, the, the, you know, the half and half. Yeah, half and half. Yes. Mean, it's just kind of almost like you have got that. And again, the yarn. The is texture so is just gorgeous. Soft and so beautiful. And also, when you have got the cable pattern in here, sometimes I find it that adds too much bulk, on, but not so here at all. No, that's why it's gone to a thinner yarn. If I did it all in the chunky yarn, it would be so thick and heavy. It just wouldn't look nice. So by going to a thinner yarn, 
just for those bits it just levels it all out so it ties in better it makes so much sense because that thoughtfulness it makes it that is a much more wearable jacket as well i kind of love it how long would it take to make something like this to um there's all knitters knit at a different yes, speed of and obviously how many hours you can donate to your knitting yeah. but i'm a slow knitter okay and i made this one for me and yeah. it was only because someone said could you write the pattern yeah. that i actually did ah. and um um i think it took me 20 21 hours what? altogether it's not that much it's not so that's that's about I, I, I made it in yeah. two weeks of an evening yeah, put so, it that way yeah so yeah. two weeks I mean and this is an, a spectacular piece yeah and you were talking about because being a natural fiber as well yes. uh, you know we just have to look after it but in a very easy way yes well you don't wash it that's <laughs> the number one thing <laughs> you so with uh, natural fibers because of how they work yeah. the best thing is not to wash it very often if you spill something on it you just spot clean it yeah but if you really feel it's getting a bit yeah. um, undesirable to wear shall we say yeah. then just hand wash it in shampoo and conditioner like like what you would use like for your you would hair. use for your hair and it's then a, each time you wash it will get softer and softer, softer anyway and i know i loved your top table the like previous hour of how you if you know you have been glowing that's <laughs> how you said it and i love so, that so you were wearing something and got a little glowy shall yes, we say a I little like warm <laughs> and um you felt you were getting a bit too fragrant under the arms yeah. when you get home you put your knitwear into the freezer and then uh, your own um, perspiration doesn't smell but the bacteria that attaches to it does so you put it in the freezer you kill the bacteria you take it out of the freezer and it's as though you've washed it so that's the top tip for that I never knew about it only so works with natural fibers yeah natural fibers so mm -hmm. I would imagine that that would will um... someone has texted me between the shows saying does it work with socks and all I can say is try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying one way or the other. Just try. Just give now, it a go. You can, know? You, can you imagine the freezers of the UK <laughs> now is full of full socks of our and, socks. You know, <laughs> and jumpers and things like that. <laughs> oh dear. Well, anyway, right. So here for the jacket, again, you have to think about what size you want to need. And we have got five different item numbers in which it reflects those sizes. And of course, because that reflects the amount of yarn needed for those different sizes, hence the different numbers and the different prices. You have to then choose, after you have chosen your size, what color. And the color options are the same as before. Let's have a look at the item numbers for different sizes. So for instance, if we are going for extra small, the bust size is 20 inches to 32 inches. Uh, 082026 is the item number for the extra uh, small. Now, now, if you wanted to go for the uh, small size, then we have got here the different details. Remember, you're going to get exactly as, as much yarn as you need, even for the larger option of within that size. 33 to 36 inches around your bust, that is your uh, shadow box size. Now, remember that you have to choose two colors because that is the contrast. So, for instance, you could choose, uh, for instance, the, uh, and you are going to get, of course, half of that amount of each color in chunky and half of it in the medium so for instance if you want to go for gray options the uh, very nice option is to go for dew and then go for uh, the sun so that's a soft gentle kind of contrast but definitely there now I think it would look amazing as well into going for the champagne and the, uh, the rain because that is a fabulous contrast really high contrast so that could be two options but you can mix and match whatever option you want and of course you have got a flexible to spread the cost 
Right, that is, the, that is the small. Then we are going to the medium to large, which we have got as well. Remember, the amount of balls of yarns varies between sizes because that is reflective of the larger need that you are going to have to do. All right, medium to large, the bust size is 37 inches to 40 inches. Again, you choose whichever two colors you are going to, get for, are going, going to go for. You have got three interest-free payments options of 53 pounds, saving 14 pounds, 38410. One. And then we have got the large size. Uh, again, so we have got in these options, we have got the size 41 to 43 inches in bus size. Again, you have got three interest free payments options if you want to flexibly it, and you are saving 15 pounds. Again, you're choosing two colors to create that contrast. And finally, we have got the extra large option. If you want to go for a really large option, there's a, you know, this is, uh, well, you will get, I'm going to show you all this yarn look at that so if you go for the extra large you are gonna get so you are gonna get five uh, medium five uh, chunky of each color so you're gonna get 20 50 gram balls in total this is how much yarn and of course remember this is a yarn a pack of yarn, uh, uh, you know, bred in the UK and spun in the UK. Now, you, of course, the flower price reflects that organic farm as well. All right, six, four, five, four, five, eight is the size for extra large. Remember, 44 to 48 inches across the bust. And you're getting the pattern, of course, you are getting the care instructions on the gorgeous bag. Now, you may want to go just for the patterns. Maybe you have gone for Alfie there, the hat, and then you're thinking, well, you know what? I'm going to get all the patterns so I can actually create everything. And we have got them here. We have got Alfie the hat. We have got the shadow uh, kind of beautiful uh, box jacket. We also have got the Luna the cowl. I'm going to show you as well the back of because that is that is shadow that's shadow, <laughs> that Look shadow. At that. and he walked beautifully on a lead with me but anybody else he really played up and that day he was being so naughty oh <laughs> so there we go so when you take your dog for a walk we didn't have one so we used shadow Oh, that's so gorgeous. Of course, you're getting the pattern for that. And of course, a Luna the Cowl uh, cable sort of element in there. You have got all four of them for £16.96. You have got £3 saving there, 041206. Now, if you wanted to go for yarn on their, uh, on their own, uh, you have, we have got those ones as well. Uh, we also have got an end of call that I will mention in a second. But if you wanted a, a medium yarn, uh, you they come in 50 gram balls. 10 pounds and 49 pence. Remember the different choices of colors are the same. So champagne, ivory, a geo, a storm and rain. This one is the storm and the previous ones. And now if you want to go for the chunky one, uh, it comes in a hundred grams, I believe. Uh, so that one is a chunky to uh, and 20 pounds and 99 pence you are gonna get they are all uh, 100 grams yarn balls uh, 899 is the item number you have got the color options there uh, if you wanted to do your own pattern right of course that is what we have got also wanted to mention that there is an end of call uh, we have got the six and the five um, millimeter needles as well which you were demonstrating as well with something similar yes. to this. Yeah. So we need them as well to create the different... I think the Luna is made with the five, and Which I is think that? Shadow and Mitzi, you use the six. Okay. So it's just if someone doesn't have that particular Absolutely. size needle, Fabulous. Can offer it. Now, of course, when you, this will appear as an end of call offer, so if you are giving us a call, uh, the operator will ask you, well, how about this? Or on the website, when you go to checkout, it has got a free delivery add-on, and you can see there is the four millimeter circular needles. There is also the different different uh, cable needles, four, six, and f four, five, and six. Uh, and there are also the different patterns. You could go them as individuals. And if you kind of refresh that, it will come out the five and the six as well. Right, uh, that's different options. Right, Tracy, what are you going to show us this hour? What I thought I'd do is I'd show you how to do the loop stitch. Oh, fabulous. Uh, because that's then you cut the loops and you undo the ply, and that's how you make the fake fur uh, yeah. look. And uh, the loop stitch that I use for this locks so that when you do cut it, it doesn't unravel. You can't pull it out and so all your knitting's thrown apart, which would be very distressing. So first of all, 
let's get rid of that one. Right. So the easiest way to describe it is you put your needle in as though okay. you're going to do a yeah. knit stitch. And then you go round the needle the same way you would do a knit stitch. But then you stick your finger out of your left yeah. hand, your left forefinger. Go round your finger and round the needle at the same time. Okay. Hook it in so that you've got two that you're bringing through. And then you knit into the back of the same stitch. Okay. It's much easier if you have the yarn in your right hand rather than your left hand when you're doing this. So I'll just show you again. So like you would a knit stitch, stick your finger out, okay. round the finger and round the needle so you've got your loop. Then hook the loop back so it's out of the way. Bring both those strands through and then knit into the back of the same stitch. And what that does is it creates the loops at the front. Okay. It also that means that you get the three bars per stitch. Okay. So on the next row you will either knit or purl those three bars together to turn it back into a one stitch. So it's a repeat every two rows. Okay. Is that feature on the waistcoat? Yes, yeah. let's see. In the in the base, yeah. yeah. So alright. So, yes. yeah, so, so just sort of quite like doing this to be honest with you. Yeah, just you sort keep of go doing around. it, yeah. And you can just chat and did you do this watching TV or something like that? No, I listen to the radio. If I watch Ooh, television, yeah. I can't knit. Oh, or I can knit, but I do it really badly. Okay. Um, but if I'm listening to the radio, I can look at what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. So, but I'm not very good at multitasking. That's not my thing. Oh, well. I do everything badly. So if I just do one thing at a time, I can kind of do it well. You know, there, is, there was one time I remember reading something. It's like nobody actually can multitask properly. Everybody will do that. Lots of things, not very well, high standard. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's made me feel better. I always thought I was old. No, no, no. I heard that. And I was like, it makes sense. I mean, some people kind of disguise it better. But, you know, I, don't, I think... You, you, you know, it's the same for everybody. Right? So I can concentrate on a play because you're listening, it's different. Yeah, but absolutely. I have to look at what I'm doing oh, on something. Doing, yeah. I do know people who can watch television, hold a conversation, and knit a garment, oh, you know, but that's just amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's not me. <laughs> 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 so you probably kind of say, oh, I'm, 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 you know, casting off this to the conversation and then kind of moving, mixing it off with something else. Well, yeah. that is what it is, right? Of course, that is of using, of course, the waistcoat for that kind of faith, faith for. Right, is there something else that you want to show us? Well, <clears throat> um, something I do uh, like to show off with, okay, okay. when you've got a lot of yarn yes um, you need to join the ball that you're using to the new ball okay, that you're yes, going to absolutely. add on so this only works with natural fibers but um, and it's not very elegant so hopefully I won't offend anybody by what I'm about to do but okay. there we go so first of all you take the end of the yarn that you have just used and you split the fibers now I'm using chunky so there's four threads if you can see that yes. there so all I'm going to do is cut off those two okay get rid of those so I've got two left yeah. then you do the same with the new ball so all you do is just undo the twist okay. separate out the fibers now with the medium you've got three strands yeah. So on one end do cut off one and on yes. the other one you cut off two and try and make it about the same sort of length. Yes. Have I done that? On two? Yes, I have. <clears throat> so now I've got two here and two here. Yeah. So it's called spit and splice for a reason. <laughs> Lick your palm. And then you lay those two across and you lay those two across. Whoops. Yeah put those there so that they just run parallel okay. and then just gently sort of join them together and then rub and it only works if you've got warm hands and what you're doing is you're felting the sort of scales in the fiber together and if you stand up and wiggle your bum you can pretend you're doing exercise so I'm not <laughs> because it's, it's nine o'clock and I you're don't care now fire, so, yeah. and there you have it so it just 
joins it together. You see how this thing is magical, that sun and the joint things together. It does, and it just saves all that sort of tying in the loose ends and sort of tidy up the edges and yeah, mm -hmm. you just carry on knitting. Yes. So it saves so much at the end when you're trying to finish a garment, Absolutely. you know, that you don't have to sew in right. all the loose ends. I have got a, I know a big ass, but I'm a complete, like, I, knitting is the one craft that I know nothing about. Okay. So how do I start? So for instance, I go for, let's say I go for the the Alfie uh, hat. I wouldn't start with okay. that because you've got to do magic loop. Oh, You'd right. want to yeah. start with something where you're just going backwards and forwards. Okay. So which now, one? Now funnily enough, Luna, Luna is easier, although it's got cabling in it, the actual, no, no. The, um, the actual row is primarily garter stitch. Can you, can you show us how to start it? Yeah. Thank so you. if I just, uh, hang on, let's get rid of that. So the first thing you would do is learn to cast on. Yeah. Let's just I, get really, rid of that I should have really tried knitting again. All right, so to cast on, now the way I was always taught was the long tail cast on. Okay. And what it does is it gives an elasticity and a okay. weight to the knitting. So the first thing to do is to start with a stitch. And the way I was always taught is you make an X on your thumb and you put your needle into that quadrant and then you just make that first stitch. So it's right. basically a slip knot. Okay. So if you know how to make a slip knot. So then you've got your long tail yeah. and you have your joined in yarn. Whoops, and you try not to drop the stitch off the needle. <laughs> a packer's ever so obliging, it just sits there and waits for you yeah. to come back and get it, which is always good. Yeah, it is a very okay. good thing. Yeah. So I don't know if anyone's sort of familiar with the shadow puppets, but you used to have that which was the rooster. But that's right. the eye and yeah. there's the yeah. things and you create shadows. So um, you just have your thumb and forefinger together and you put it between the two that are hanging down. Am I showing this well? Let yeah. me see. There yeah. we go. So you put those two between the two strands and then with your little finger sort of collect it up and open. So you've got like a diamond shape going on. All right. And then you go under the thumb, over the finger, through the hole and then tighten. So that's under the thumb, over the finger, through the hole, tighten. Okay, and that's how you can cast on. Okay. So this was shown to me by a lady called Carrie Helene. And when I first saw her doing it, because I used to use the thumb all the way yeah. through, and I went, whoa, 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 what are you doing? That's poetry, show me again. And that was it, <laughs> fabulous, love it. So, uh, yeah, so you just, and it's really quick. Oh, I see. So... That's just how I recommend casting on with alpaca. Yeah. And then the first stitch you always use is called the garter stitch. Okay. And that's when you put the needle into the front. This is called a loop. All oh, right. So you put your needle into the front yeah. of the loop. You get the yarn that's attached to the ball. Yeah. Not this bit because you run out very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, so you literally, so you're making like a cross yeah. and you go round the needle and you just use the tip of the needle to bring that through, give it a little lift so that you've got yeah. enough, and then it just comes off. Mm -hmm. So it goes in, round, round, through, and off. Oh, I see. In, round, through, and off. Now, there are people who hold the yarn in the left hand. It's called continental knitting. Okay. And what that means is they wrap it round ah. the finger so that the yarn is already there so when they go in yeah the yarn is there they can just hook ah, it through I see, yeah so it's actually for the knit stitch much much quicker because the yarn is already there I see. and that's what continental knitting is all about and again when i saw that i thought why wasn't i taught like that but i'm struggle with the pearl stitch ah. so then there's portuguese pearling oh should we that? talk about anything now yes, so yes, right absolutely. okay portuguese pearling so something yeah. else new i learned recently yeah. and i went oh i love that oh good because pearling is always a bit slow or i'm right, a bit yeah. slow and what they do is they have the yarn around their neck so they control it from yeah. here and then so they put the needle in, because the purl stitch, you're purling towards you, so the knot is towards you. Yeah. The knit stitch, it's the other side. Yeah. So, and because they hold the yarn like this, or you can have it on a pin, which I have done, 
they just use their thumb so they just flick it and then push the stitch away so it's just a flick like that oh and I, again, you know you go, oh, I love that, yeah. I'm going to give that a go, so yes I do. So where there's acres of stocking stitch, I use the continental way for the sort of right side, yeah. and then this way for the wrong side. That is fabulous. And it's just, it's just one, you know, you pick, you can never stop learning. And um, YouTube is a library of knitting techniques anyway. <laughs> and if I can't remember how to do something, I go and find a voice I like and a video I like. And, Absolutely. Uh, go and check it out. Yeah, and of course, uh, this video also, this show will be on the website hotchanda.com on Rewind for 60 days. Oh, so wow. you, Yeah, so of course, uh, people will be able to get their goodies. Uh, then you kind of search, uh, you know, in the Rewind section, our Pearl, uh, Pearl Alpaca Designs, and they will find this up to 60 days. You know you asked about how to do the darts? Yes! Ooh, right, the darts for Misty. Look at that. So, right, so with the right-handed dart, what you're going to do is normally you would just knit into there. Yeah. But you see this is the stitch from the row below? Yeah. So you actually knit into there, so you just pick up that. Yeah. I see. Like that. Yeah. And then when you knit into it, that's it. Yeah. You then knit into the stitch itself. So you've actually increased one, but it's ah, just I increased see. here, and that's how you create the dart going ah, up absolutely. that way. And then when you're going to the one on the left, you're picking up the, the outside loop of the stitch below, and then that takes it that way. That is fabulous. I love that. I know. I really enjoyed that too. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Because well, it's such fun. It is. <laughs> no, no, but it, it just kind of shows that knitting is like I had my my own. I had, a, I think it's only one experience knitting when I was like about what thirteen uh -huh. or twelve, and I started doing a scarf and I started like this, yeah, and it became like this. Oh, lovely! Yes. I just like my shape as well, that kind of goes like this. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny shapes. But, but it does, I think, kind of, but then, of course, I didn't have a teacher like you that explains everything so well. And, of course, we didn't have YouTube when I was 12 years old. So, And now you have got the advantage. And, of course, you can get the patterns as well, which are clearly explained and how to do them. You can go for a different bundle. So you have got all the different options. In the, well, not the, all the options. You're getting all four of of the patterns is brand new today. You are getting the Mitsigile, the shadow box jacket, the Alfie hat, and the Luna cowl in there. That is the pattern on their own. Of course, then you can use your own yarn to create them. However, if you wanted to go for all four patterns and create your own bundle with the yarn, we have got the yarn separately. We have got the chunky options and the the gorgeous medium uh, also options all of them in five color options ivory champagne uh, we have got a storm a dew and rain and of course if you wanted to go for the full bundles in the witch or then or you have got the pat one pattern and then the yarn and the, the right amount of yarn you could go for that option again you are for instance if you are going for alfie the hat which is not for a beginner uh, of course as tracy was saying you have got in here uh, the option of a hundred grams of the champagne oh the, no this is the ivory sorry and it will be one bowl of a chunky hundred grams of ivory however if you go for any of the other option of color you are gonna have 250 gram balls so it's exactly the same amount of yarn it's just that they are separated in the smaller uh, balls right so we have got dew which is the beautiful a softer gray then we have got champagne then we have got a rain which is the darker brown kind of grayish brown and then finally the darker sort of gray storm i i need to show you again because not only you are getting the patterns and you're getting the bag and the care instructions but you also have a biography so it could be goldie here look at that isn't she adorable I mean, Goldie, I mean, I'm going to say, can I read what is behind? Yeah. So my mom's name is Goldilocks, but she is, hasn't seen a bear in her life. Just as well, really, as I don't think it would be a good idea. 
I'm pretty special because my fleece is so fine, it's almost invisible to the naked eye. This means that when it's spun into yarn and made into clothes, you will feel you are wearing a sumptuous mythical garment which has magical properties. Then again, you might not, but that's how what I feel when I'm wearing my fleece. <laughs> Look at that story. I love that. And of course, that is Goldie and then it's a Fira here as well. Look at that. It's so adorable. And this is the thing. When you are buying from Pearl Alpaca Designs, you are buying alpaca yarn that has been bred in the UK, that has been spun in the UK, that you know who owns the, uh, the alpacas. Organic farm with a small carbon footprint as well. That's, that's an amazing story. It's not just any yarn. It is alpaca yarn bought, well, bred in the UK and spun in the UK. And not, it's been, it hasn't been dyed either, so it is the natural colors of the alpacas. Uh, maybe I can stand here. Maybe look, look, I know. <laughs> it's a really, that is good. really good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm wearing my pimp though. <laughs> so, but you can see how lovely it looks. Uh, that's the Luna cowl in here. It really is such a gorgeous idea. And, and I remember like uh, last year because the ones that I wear, uh, they have been knitted by uh, my friend and uh, break, uh, you know, the partner, uh, the wife of uh, David and um, David, which are uh, two of our really uh, gorgeous supporters of Hochanda. And I have had so many questions of where the pattern, I'm like, I'm not a knitter, I have no idea. This pattern is stunning. If, for instance, somebody, like, I tried it on, and of course I couldn't wear it on it because the, 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 the neck was a little bit too high, could it be kind of shortened a little bit, or would you start? The this? bow itself goes from the fringe to the neck. Okay. That, that's how long the, each row is. It's only, uh, I think, about 30-odd stitches. Okay. Um, so you could make it shorter. shorter just by not doing as many garter stitches okay. um, but keeping the the edge the only thing is of course you'd have to sort of adjust it a bit yeah. so that it, it fitted in the right place Absolute. around the collar yeah. i mean obviously if somebody is an expert knitter they would know how, they would to, know do how to do that yeah. uh, if you're not an expert knitter then stick to the pattern yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely uh, right if you want to go for these uh, the luna cowl uh, knitting kit now it includes 150 grams of yarn uh, you have got the pattern and the instructions the biography cards of the alpaca and of course the bag the options again they are the ivory the dew the champagne the rain and then the storm the beautiful not dyed the natural fibers is the way that it have been mixed to create this uh, unique and color perfect alpaca yarn and uh, 944654 is your item number 32 pounds and 49 pence with the three pounds uh, saving there Right, moving on to uh, the waistcoat, uh, and this is a really a gorgeous, uh, I really like it because, shall I bring it forward a little bit? Yeah, I, I'm allowed to do whatever I want to do, so I'm going to bring him here, and then I kind of go in. Can I stand that? No, oh, it's too, it's too tall. <laughs> <sighs> Story of my now, life, too. Uh, right, so I kind of move, oh, the back, then I'm just going to put it there, oh, and this as well. Right there, and then we can see that. Uh, so we can see uh, how gorgeous the fake fur it is. And you have put here some closures as well. Yes, um, I put on the um, press studs. But thinking about it, maybe a zip or Velcro would be better to make oh, it join oh, join oh. a bit better because it's designed to have a placket in it. Ah. So each of the fronts, uh, usually with a, a cardigan, one is the reverse of the other, but these are two totally different fronts. Okay. So they are almost like a, a whole new piece again. And um, you know what because I'm do. one, yeah. One has got the uh, placket on the side so that you can add any fastening that you want to on that. Sorry. Oh, that looks good. Look, yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. That fits. I'm going to go careful with my microphone here. So I'm going to put it in here. Sorry. Shouldn't have been doing this. Uh, but you can see that. Oh, look at that. Which size? Do you know which size is this? That's the small size here. Yeah. Oh, look. Sorry, my microphone, if it makes a rub. Uh, <laughs> look, I've, I love that. I just, again, it's just so soft. It's just beautiful. Um, I'm gonna Actually, with you wearing it like that, I don't know if it's the way your skirt's working, but it's almost like um, 
you should be ice skating. You oh. know, in one of those movies. <laughs> <laughs> I, skated, I skated once, one time. Yeah, I, I did didn't it once. fall over, but I didn't enjoy it. Uh, yeah, uh, there it is. Oh, okay, like the back, I need to move it again. Look at that. Oh, I love it. And it's just so soft. And I love one of the things I love is this that kind of lovely flare in here and the darts you can see there. It's tight and, and then you turn it over. Oh, it covers my mic pack as well. <laughs> it hides away all the cables as well. There it is. Oh, I need one of them, actually. I really love it. I just think it's just, it's just very classic look, isn't it? It's just, it's just absolutely phenomenal. I love it. I absolutely love it. And, it, and, and also, you can go in. I'm going to, for the show, you kind of put it in. But, you know, you have got the choices of color as well. So you could have, for instance, uh, the grays, you prefer it. And would you, um, kind of what I was thinking, because the care is really easy. So you said, mm. you know, not wash it, spot wash it if it gets dirty or something like this. So it's something that is perfect to just, I kind of almost like, oh, I need an extra layer. Just grab it. Yeah, that's, it's perfect just as, as you say, an extra layer. An extra layer. So you could wear a long sleeve t-shirt and that and go out walking in the yeah, snow. Yeah, absolutely. And also I love the way that if I open it, I leave it open, then suddenly as, as well, it has got a different and a different feel to it. It's just not, it's just not, it, it, it kind of dresses up or dress it down. Yes. If somebody was an expert knitter, for instance, could they be able to add uh, sleeves? sleeves? Yes, because the way the sleeves are done, I've just done a cap on the sleeves to just give it that little bit of detail around yeah. the hand, but they could actually take that down and make a whole sleeve. Wow, so think about that if you are an expert knitter, and maybe add, in this case, it would be chunky, uh, the chunky yarn, so yes. add the extra, extra yarn into it. So you probably need about 150 grams extra per sleeve, sleeve. I would think. Thing. So it might might only be a hundred. Um, depends on the length of yeah. the arm you want. So for me, and it could be three quarters. That three would quarters be really sleeve, nice. Yeah. Really it would nice. only be a hundred yeah. grams then. So if it's a hundred, so you would need two hundred. I think chunky comes in a hundred grams, or is uh, it the medium? ivory is in a hundred grams, and yeah. the colours are in fifty grams. They were meant to spin it in hundred yeah. gram balls, and they got confused, uh, and they okay. did everything oh, no, in fifty. Problem. So sorry about that. Yeah. So if you go for it, it doesn't matter how many balls you're going to get a hundred grams. So you yeah. Could add, so if you had two of the ones at the bottom plus the, the, the waistcoat, you could do those sleeves, yeah. which I love that because it means that you can take an amazing design and customize it even further or, of course, make it your own. I love also, uh, let's be honest, this is chunky knit. This is a lot of yarn and it still feels lightweight. It, 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 I mean, you forget you're wearing it, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. You just, and as you said, until you take it off and then you think, oh, actually, there is a huge difference in yeah, the temperature. There is, and the warmth, I mean, that kind of provides. And also what I love about it, and this is not always happens with uh, with wool or yarn, is the fact that it molds itself. It has got that kind of the knit and everything has made it so it kind of feeds it through yeah. the body. It skims, it, it, the it whole skims. idea is it skims, it doesn't cling. Yeah, so just by skimming it's very flattering. Yeah. Whereas if it clings, you know, it, it can look a little unsightly. Absolutely. But it doesn't, it just skims, so it's just indicates. It is. I mean, and you can see it here, you could just wear it. I didn't close it when I was wearing it because of my microphone at the very top. But you could see that just putting it at the very top and leave it open like this also kind of looks really nice with that kind of V shape in there as well. I kind of put it there so you can see it there, what I mean. I really think there is a lot of possibilities to yes. dress it up. Uh, and I love the fake for a kind of element to it because it just adds that richness of detail. It's a bit of fun. It, it is, is well. isn't it, really? It's a bit of shush. Yes, That's it. what I like to call it. I'll just give it a bit of shush. It'll be a fine. Shush, yeah, you know? a shush. <laughs> uh, now, of course, if you are one of these people that gets cold quickly, like myself, sometimes I do get a cold. I'm very hot too, as well. But this is would be a perfect project as well. And remember, it comes in with that luxurious uh, bag as well. Uh, you are going to get enough yarn to create it. And remember to go for the different sizes 
sizes and depending on what size you're going to get you're going to get more or less yarn and the price of course reflects that and then of course we have got the the shadow box uh, jacket in which you have to go for whatever sizes you want you have got five different size options in there the bus sizes are across there so for instance the extra small 20 to 32 a bus size and you pick any two colors because of course you want to create recreate that kind of contrast one side it's just a, a really kind of yin yang as well kind of combination um that's meant to be 28 to 32 not 20. oh okay because like, you know when you look and you yeah. think 20 that's a child <laughs> myself something that it was a small and I was like or extra small oh, and yeah. I had to go at one size that I was like yeah. I'm not 20 across here I mean I'm <laughs> flat I mean you know I'm not don't have my I'm not 20 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no it's meant to be it's meant to be 20 28 to 32 oh, okay. oh, right. That's, yeah well anyway you got to us yes. 32 so I'm sure that people yes. will will realize and there it is uh, facts for you and uh, right if you want to go for your shadow box uh, jacket knitting pet remember you are gonna get the pattern the biography and of course a that care instructions and enough yarn you are the uh, you know the designer in terms of what colors you want to remember the co more contrast the more the design is going to say and i'm going to going to put it as well on the other side of the back so you can see the detail as well in here because the detail on the back is just i think it makes it as well it yes. really now i have got a question because we were talking about different our shapes and things like that for instance we uh, i'm very 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 short I know I mention it very often but uh, so for instance I would like it a little bit shorter so it's easy to adapt you um, shorten it a little bit yes and no oh, the, okay. the biggest problem with this is that to, the, the cable at the back is different to the cable at the oh, front. Oh, I see. So to get the two to marry up so that the collar fits oh, with I it see. all coming seamlessly so. together was a headache all oh, right okay so it wasn't one of my better ideas but anyway we sorted it so in a way if you wanted to make it shorter yeah what I would probably do is go down a needle size mm. all right so that would bring it that a would just shrink it enough to, to change to change it so that's an amazing top tip so I'm glad I asked that yes yeah. <laughs> just anyway, the simple change of a needle and of course mm. the quad size needles are included in the pattern so you would have that and then you just go one up to go or one size smaller to go shorter and I guess the other way around if you go yeah. one size down you would you have can make a, it longer. Uh, longer because uh, the cable at the front is an eight row repeat the cable at the back is a 12 row repeat oh, I see. and that's what I mean by so to get those two to tag so that yeah. the collar works was just uh, absolutely you know when you just think yeah I won't do that again <laughs> <laughs> well she, uh, Tracy has done all work it out so you don't have to right we have got just um, a seconds to go actually and to remind you everybody to check out your baskets because they are phenomenal you are gonna enjoy knitting with this now Tracy when are you back I, I do you know I have absolutely no idea but oh, hopefully soon hopefully soon yes. of course because it is a joy to have you here in the Thank building you it's very a much. joy to touch the alpaca yarn because Thank it makes you. it so special and especially knowing that the alpacas are not uh, almost down the road actually they from are here. about an hour away but yes. yeah absolutely so if you want to have a piece of alpaca yarn designs patterns you have got all the options check out your baskets I'll see you uh, Monday uh, I think uh, yeah Monday at in the afternoon I believe. Anyway, I stay safe this weekend. Craft alongside Crow Hachanda and check out your baskets. I'll see you and I have a lovely weekend crafting, maybe, and then the safety of the home. Right, we have got another look at the one day special by Moda Basics, and then we have got Alan Create and then our 12 wonderful wool happy hour. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our Winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help